Ever wonder how the film industry has been revolutionizing LGBTQ representation over the years? Well, buckle up, film enthusiasts, and get ready for a cinematic ride that will take us through the vibrant rainbows and diverse love stories that have been lighting up our screens. The landscape of cinema has been shifting, evolving, and breaking boundaries, especially when it comes to the representation of queer narratives. From silent films with coded characters to today's unapologetically queer blockbusters, the evolution has been nothing short of dramatic. This transformation is not just about the quantity of representation, but also the quality, depth, and diversity of these narratives. It's about seeing characters who are not defined solely by their sexuality, but are complex, multi-dimensional individuals who happen to be LGBTQ. It's about challenging stereotypes and embracing the entire spectrum of the LGBTQ community. It's about representation that resonates, that tells authentic stories, that challenges, inspires, and ultimately changes hearts and minds. This evolution has not been without its challenges, but each stride taken on the silver screen has been a step towards greater understanding and acceptance. And each iconic LGBTQ movie moment has not only entertained us, but also sparked conversations, challenged norms, and paved the way for more inclusive storytelling. So, in celebration of this cinematic revolution, we're going to delve into the top five iconic LGBTQ movie moments that changed the game. These are the scenes that didn't just tell a story. They made a statement, they broke barriers, they left a lasting impact. These are the moments that continue to inspire filmmakers and audiences alike, proving that love is love, no matter how it's portrayed on screen. So without further ado, let's dive into our first iconic movie moment. In 2016, we were introduced to a story that took LGBTQ representation to new heights. Moonlight is a stunningly profound narrative that follows Chiron, a black man, as he grapples with his identity and sexuality against the backdrop of a challenging Miami neighborhood. This film is a beacon of authenticity, a rare gem that perfectly encapsulates the struggle and beauty of self-discovery amidst adversity. Moonlight is a three-part tale, each segment representing a crucial stage in Chiron's life, as a child, a teenager, and then an adult. But it's the middle segment that truly makes waves, where Chiron, as a teenager, has his first intimate experience with his friend Kevin on a moonlit beach. This coming out scene is raw and poignant, a moment that's both vulnerable and empowering, marking a significant turning point in Chiron's journey of self-acceptance. But Moonlight did more than just provide a compelling story. It broke barriers and pushed boundaries. Directed by the brilliant Barry Jenkins, the film was made on a modest budget of around $4 million. But its emotional depth and the authenticity of its narrative gripped audiences worldwide, catapulting it to a global phenomenon. The film went on to garner over $65 million worldwide, making it a blockbuster hit. And the accolades didn't stop at the box office. In a turn of events that had us all on the edge of our seats, Moonlight snagged the Best Picture Oscar, a first for a film with an all-black cast and a queer storyline. This victory was more than just a win for the film. It was a win for representation, a statement that stories about queer black youth are not just necessary, they are powerful, they are moving, and they can indeed be blockbusters. The success of Moonlight set a new standard for LGBTQ representation in film. It proved that these stories are not only important, but also universally resonant breaking the mold and setting a precedent for diverse, authentic storytelling in cinema. In 2017, we embarked on a beautiful journey of love and self-discovery with the film Call Me By Your Name. Set against the beautifully sun-soaked fields of northern Italy, it painted a tender, nuanced picture of first love. This film, directed by Luca Guadagnino, is a sensual exploration of desire and identity, crafted on a modest budget of three and a half million dollars. One scene that stands out among the rest is the dance scene. Here, Elio, brilliantly portrayed by Timothée Chalamet, fully embodies the freedom and joy that comes with first love. 
As he moves to the rhythm of the music, he's carefree and full of life, a stark contrast to his usual reserved demeanor. This moment is not just about dancing, it's about Elio embracing his feelings, his identity, and the joy that comes with self-acceptance. This scene is a perfect example of the film's ability to capture the raw, unfiltered emotions of first love. It's not just about the physicality of the dance, but about the emotional journey that Elio is on. This scene is a turning point in the film, a moment of pure, unadulterated joy that is both infectious and deeply moving. Call Me By Your Name was a critical success, praised for its louche storytelling and powerhouse performances, especially by Chalamet and Army Hammer. Film Walt said its way into the hearts of audiences around the globe, grossing over $41 million worldwide. It made us all wish we could spend a summer discovering ourselves, and maybe a little more in Italy. Film not only delighted audiences, but also proved that LGBTQ stories can be universally relatable. It showed that a story about two young men falling in love, set against the backdrop of a sun-drenched Italian summer, can resonate with audiences of all backgrounds. A testament to the power of cinema to tell diverse, inclusive stories that touch the heart and stir the soul. In 2005, a film broke barriers and touched hearts worldwide. Brokeback Mountain painted an intimate portrait of a love that dared not speak its name, set against the sprawling canvas of the American West. The film unfurls the story of Jack and Ennis, two cowboys who find themselves entangled in a secret love affair that spans years and transcends life's ordinary boundaries. The final scene of Brokeback Mountain is a masterclass in emotional storytelling. Here we find Ennis, alone with his thoughts and memories, clutching onto two old shirts, symbols of a love that could never truly be his. It's a scene that's as heartbreaking as it is beautiful, a poignant reminder of the yearning that defined Jack and Ennis's clandestine relationship. But the emotional resonance of Brokeback Mountain wasn't the only thing that set it apart. The film also made waves at the box office, grossing over $178 million worldwide. This formidable figure not only shattered preconceived notions about the commercial viability of LGBTQ-centric films, but also underscored the universal appeal of a well-told love story. Directed by Ang Lee, Brokeback Mountain was a cinematic game-changer. With a budget of $14 million, it transcended expectations and redefined what a romance film could be. More than just a love story, it was a testament to the enduring power of human connection, a narrative that spoke to audiences regardless of their own experiences or identities. Brokeback Mountain was more than just a film, it was a cultural landmark. It pushed the boundaries of mainstream cinema and blazed a trail for future LGBTQ films. Its success underscored the fact that these stories, often sidelined or ignored, had the power to captivate audiences and change hearts. Brokeback Mountain became a cultural landmark, reinforcing the power of LGBTQ storytelling. It reminded us that love, in all its forms, is a universal language, one that transcends time, space, and even the silver screen. Fast forward to 2010, we were introduced to a domestic drama that was both queer and universally relatable. The Kids Are All Right is a film that explores the dynamics of a modern family with a twist. This story revolves around a lesbian couple, Nick and Jules, played by Annette Benning and Julianne Moore, who are raising their two kids, conceived through artificial insemination. When their children decide to seek out their biological father, played by Mark Ruffalo, the family's dynamic takes a turn, leading to a series of events that test the family's strength and unity. One of the most memorable moments from this film is Annette Benning's I Want a Wife monologue. This powerful soliloquy delves into the complexities of desire, family, and the yearning for traditional roles within a non-traditional, same-sex relationship. Benning's character, Nick, expresses her frustration with being the primary breadwinner and decision-maker in her family. She yearns for a partner, a wife, who can share these responsibilities with her. 
This monologue is a testament to the universal struggle of balancing personal desires with family responsibilities, a sentiment that resonates with many regardless of their sexual orientation. The Kids Are All Right was directed by Lisa Cholodenko, a filmmaker known for her sharp wit and poignant storytelling. The film was crafted on a modest budget of $4 million, but its warmth, humor, and stellar performances, coupled with its fresh take on the concept of family, resonated with audiences worldwide. The movie grossed over $34 million globally, proving that stories about non-traditional families are not just necessary, but also profitable. This film struck a chord with audiences globally, further solidifying the importance of LGBTQ representation in film. The I Want a Wife monologue, in particular, underscores the need for diverse narratives that reflect the realities and challenges of all families, regardless of their composition. It's a reminder that at the end of the day, we all want the same things. Love, understanding, and a little help from our wives. From Moonlight to The Kids Are Alright, we've seen a remarkable evolution in LGBTQ representation in film. These movies, and many others, have dared to tell stories that were once hushed whispers in the corners of society, bringing them into the spotlight and onto the silver screen. In the past, we had to squint to see ourselves in shadowy subtext or coded characters. But now we have films like Moonlight, a poetic narrative about black, queer love that not only exist but also win the highest honors in cinema. It's a testament to the power of authentic storytelling that resonates with audiences worldwide. We've danced with Elio in Call Me By Your Name, reveling in the intoxicating freedom of first love. This movie not only painted a beautiful picture of young desire, but also proved that these stories can be financially successful, further dismantling the myth that LGBTQ stories aren't bankable. We've ridden alongside Jack and Ennis in Brokeback Mountain, a poignant tale of love that dared to break the mold of the typical Hollywood romance. It's a stark reminder of how far we've come, from the days when such a narrative would have been unthinkable to today, where it's a celebrated piece of cinema. We've sat in the living room with The Kids Are All Right, a film that explored the complexities of modern, queer family life. Here, we saw a reflection of our own struggles and triumphs, proving once again that our stories are not niche but universal. The evolution of LGBTQ representation in cinema is a testament to the resilience and creativity of our community. However, it's essential to remember that this representation is not just about visibility. It's about authenticity, diversity, and the continued push for more stories that reflect the full spectrum of our experiences. The journey of LGBTQ representation in film is far from over, but these milestones remind us of how far we've come and inspire us to continue pushing boundaries.